For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You see, the Bible says God's not willing that any should perish. God does not want to cast people into hell. He never did. He never designed man to go to hell. Death and sin and hell was the objective of Satan. And that the fact is, when anybody enters into the place of hell, God did not force them into hell. God did all he could to prevent man to go to hell. For God so loved the world that he gave. There is the love of God. When a man goes into hell, he goes against the love of God. That God so loved the world and a man goes to hell. And God is not willing that any should perish. God does not want you to go to hell. You went to hell on your own merit. You chose hell because you did not choose God. You rejected God and thus God must reject you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. God is not the mean awful, wicked God that casts his people into hell. No. You're the stupid, ignorant fool that rejected God's love and God's gift. You were the idiot that put yourself in hell, not God. You went against God's love. For God so loved the world that he gave. God has an offering. And that offering is the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That is the offering of God. That is the love of God. God gave his only begotten Son. The gift of God is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. I didn't say the gift of eternal life is through the Baptist Church. I didn't say for God so loved the world he gave baptism. I did not say that. The Bible does not say that. The Bible says that for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. The Bible says the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I didn't say it was through a priest. I didn't say it was through a pope. I said it's through Jesus Christ. And that God is not willing that any perish. And if you end up in hell, it's because you rejected God. You were the fool. Not to believe. 
you were the fool to say no to Jesus. The Bible says again, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, that the world through him might be saved. God wants you saved. God tells his Christian, those who are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus, go in all the world and preach the gospel. You know, you may not like the preaching of the gospel, you may not like the preaching of the Bible, but the Bible says God loves and thee. God enjoys the preaching of Jesus. And the salvation of Jesus is through the preaching of Jesus. It's plain and simple to see. You will not be in God's presence after you die for all eternity when you reject Jesus. You cannot, you will not please God by rejecting Jesus Christ. Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life. That man will not have access through God the Father, except through Jesus Christ. God's not willing that any perish God sent not forth his son into the world to condemn the world. God sent forth his son that you might be saved. And that salvation is only of God. You cannot and will not get to heaven without faith and belief in Jesus. And when you reject Jesus, you will be rejected by God. That's not what God intended. Jesus came to seek that which is lost. And we're told to preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God offers life. And that life is in God the Lord Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all sinners. We're all going to die. But since death is not it, that there is an afterlife, that there is death. The wages of sin is death. But that's not it. But the gift of God. That gift of God is the same thing for God so loved the world. He gave. God gave the gift of God. God gave the gift of God. God gave the gift of God. Is eternal life. Through the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish. Shall not perish. But have eternal life. There is life after death. And you get to choose where you're going to go after you die. It's not chosen for you as Calvin taught. You are not forced by God. 
God did not preterm your destination. He has given you a choice. He's given you an option. You can have eternal life or you can have damnation. Eternal life is through the Son, the only begotten Son. Eternal life is through the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You want the wrath of God? You want hell? Reject Jesus Christ. Trust in anything but, but Jesus. Don't trust in anything at all. You can go to hell by trusting or you can go to hell by not trusting. But you will not go to hell when you put your faith and trust in Jesus. You see, everybody in hell, everyone that goes to the lake of fire has told God, nope, I don't want you. I don't want your way. I don't want your Bible. I don't want you, God. And all those that end up in heaven, all those that end up in New Jerusalem, holy, holy, holy to the Lord God Almighty, to Jesus Christ, to the Lamb, to the Lamb that sits upon the throne. All glory and honor. When we get to heaven, you see Jesus on the throne? That's how I got here. The blood of the Lamb. The salvation of Jesus Christ. For God so loved me that he gave that lamb. He gave his son. I believe and I got eternal life. That's how I get to heaven. You're not good enough to get to heaven. There's none that doeth good. Church can't do it. Baptism can't do it. Mary can't do it. The Pope can't do it. Only Jesus saves. And without Jesus Christ, without faith and belief in Jesus, there is no heaven for you. I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. Without Jesus, you'll be without heaven. The Bible, the Holy Bible that I hold in my hand says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That is the way, Jesus said. That is the truth, Jesus said. That is the life, Jesus said, about himself. Jesus said of himself, I am, Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. I can't say that. Don't you dare put any faith in me and what I preach about me. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. You cannot tell God, oh, you know, I heard that preacher preach every Saturday morning. That ain't going to save your soul. God, I went to church. That ain't going to save you. God, I was baptized. That ain't going to save you. God, I put my faith and trust in Jesus. That saves you. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Are you washed in the blood? Have you the cleansing of God through Jesus Christ? There's nothing else. There's no one else. Only Jesus. Only Jesus Christ saves Again, the Bible says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world. Jesus came to save. The next time Jesus comes, he comes as a lion of the tribe of Judah, and he comes with anger against those that rejected him, or those that are against him. Now is the day of salvation. You may not have this afternoon. You don't know when death is coming. Death may be knocking at your door right now. Inside your body may be a cell. It's going to give you a stroke. 
Maybe your heart's going to say, I'm about at it. Maybe a bad Florida driver is going to run you over. We had a police officer doing his duty, and he was shot, and he's fighting for his life. That police officer and his family need your prayers. But more than more than anything, we all need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Any moment things can change. You can't say, I'll do it tomorrow. You may get dementia today. Your mind may be gone. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the time to, you can get saved right here at Mongolia and Wall Street. You don't need to go to church. Well, preacher, I'll go to church Sunday morning. What if we die at midnight Saturday night? Do it now. You can kneel, you can stand, you can sit. You can now call upon Jesus. Say, Jesus, that, that, that Jesus, that man is preaching. He says, if I put my faith and trust in you, I can be saved. I want to do that, Jesus. I want to put my faith and trust in you. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to make God angry with me. I want that gift of God. He ain't a little lamb. He's going to be a roaring lion. Hey, that's right. And it's too late. Carry on. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. He's coming. God's not willing that any should perish. The fact is that he loved us. And he gave us his son. The gift is eternal life. And that gift comes through Jesus. It don't come from Santa Claus. It don't come from the Easter Bunny. It comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a shame many Christian children are looking for more for the Easter Bunny than Santa Claus than they are looking for Jesus. My hope, my eyes, and my ways are set upon Jesus. And when I falter and when I fail, the Bible says confess your sin. The Bible says confess. And he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us. And that cleansing is through the blood. And the blood of Jesus Christ, who is of God and is by God, Jesus Christ. You got the devil's entertainment over here playing on a CD by a DJ of the devil, and you got God over here being preached in the Holy Bible. A little early, she said, What's love got to do it? Do it. It's got plenty to do it because love was upon Calvary. Love was upon that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures because God loved me. He was buried because God gave to me. And he, three days, three nights, he rose again from the dead according to the scriptures because God offers eternal life. That's what love's got to do with it. How dare you sing what's love got to do with it? And then you're going to turn around and say, I'm a Christian. You're a fool. You tell God I said that. You're a fool. Just because what you think, what you believe, if it don't line up with the King James Bible, what you believe and what you think is court as crap. The preacher said crap. You know what other words there are. Because if it don't line up with the Bible, then it's it's wrong. It's sin. The most rejected book is God's book, inspired by God to tell us what God expects us, what God wants from us, what God tells us to do, and what God tells us not to do, if we rightly divide, if we study. So we're not made ashamed. When a man dies and gets to heaven, he did it through the faith and trust and belief in Jesus Christ alone. When a man dies and wakes up in hell, he's a fool. And let me tell you vendors here, if you died 
and end up in hell after hearing week after week after week that Jesus saved. You hear, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Week after week after week, you die, and you end up in hell. You're a fool. You're a fool. You will never be able to tell God, I never knew. You mean to tell me after I said that loud mouth preacher that you hated, you never knew? You can play your music. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. And CDs, those records will pass, a day, pass away one day. You won't have music in hell, but you'll have music in heaven praising Jesus. There's no alcohol in hell. The Bible says we'll have the new wine in heaven. The Bible says the wine that cheereth man and God. But you got to put your faith and trust in Jesus first. And only Jesus. Not Jesus and a little Mary. Not Jesus and a little church attendant. Only through Jesus. Not of works, lest any man boast. Salvation is of Jesus Christ. And only by Jesus Christ. <laughs> 